Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'll be explaining the cosmology of the philosophers Socrates and Plato. First, what is cosmology? Cosmology is the branch of philosophy that deals with the origin and structure of the universe. Others define it as the philosophical contemplation of the universe that is in order or the conceptual foundation of the universe. So, what do Socrates and Plato think of the origin of the universe and its nature? Well, let me refresh everyone of the dualistic conception of both thinkers on the universe. So, there are two worlds or universes. One is eternal, imperishable, it does not change, unchanging, and it's the, the real world for them, which is by nature spiritual. And they call it the world of forms, the world of ideas. It is a world somewhere out there, not part of this physical universe. And the other word, the world or universe, is obviously this material universe, the universe composed of corporeal entities that are tangible, that are perishable and ever-changing and finite. And for Socrates and Plato, what is valuable to them, what is important is the world of forms or the world of ideas because the forms and ideas are the real things, the real essences from which all the things in this material universe are copied. So the material universe, the bodily universe, is merely an imitation or a shadow of the real world. So it is not the real world, artificial, it's superficial, it's, it's fake so less valuable. So the question is, how did this material universe exist? So Plato and Socrates believe that the world of ideas or the world of forms, which is the eternal and changing imperishable world, is a world that has always been existed. Meaning it has always been there and it will never end. It will never perish. And all these things in the bodily world once upon a time, were copied from the world of ideas as templates or modes by a divine creator or a divine craftsman who is intelligent. And I consider that craftsman to be a person because of his intelligence. And this crafts craftsman, or this uh, demiurge, as Plato and Socrates would call him, the demiurgus, the supreme uh, intelligent craftsman who copied the material universe from this world of ideas introduced order, purpose, and telos to the material universe. Therefore, a, a very important point to learn from Plato and Socrates cosmology is that everything that exists has a purpose or a reasons, reason for its existence. So the universe is not a product of luck or chance, but it has a reason or a purpose. And that is something that we should all know and understand and follow. So the goal is for these things, material or corporeal entities, to follow their order. And that's how Plato and Socrates explains time. Time is basically the movement of this material entities that were copied from the world of ideas. So that's what time is, the movement of the heavenly bodies, the corporeal bodies. And of course, space, space is also an idea where, no, not, not the form or not an idea, but rather a space is uh, a receptacle of bodily entities where be becoming and, and change takes place. So it's like a container where the generation and degeneration of corporeal entities happen or are found. Then this demiurge uh, also created the, the souls. In my interpretation, the, the souls are not the forms or the ideas, but they are also spiritual entities. They are intelligible and they do not perish. That is why Socrates and Plato believe in the immortality of the human soul or the human being. Uh, meaning they have pre-existence over the body and they will also have a continued existence after the body perishes during death. Thus the immortality of, of the soul. And 
the goal of the soul, of course, because it, it has its also its telos as being created by the Demiurge, is actually to contemplate and to pursue and choose the good, which is the, the highest of all ideas and forms at all times. That is why the, the purpose of a human being, who is the soul, is to live a virtuous life to contemplate, to pursue wisdom, the truth, and the good at all times, and to be one with them in eternity. So this is the cosmology of Socrates and Plato in a nutshell. Please click, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and be updated with my next episode.